This is section 3.10 for Math 88, and we are going to rewrite some formulas. So we're used to solving equations, like if I have something like 3x plus 2 equals 5. The whole idea is to get x all alone. And what we do is we undo the step. So like we have this plus 2, so we subtract 2 from both sides. 3x equals. And we usually just go like 5 minus 2 is 3. Oops, sorry. But it's really just like 5 minus 2. We usually condense it down to 3. I'm doing it this way for a reason. Um, and then we divide both sides by 3. So we would have x equals. And then we'd usually do that division. But notice that like if I didn't do any of the arithmetic, I would just end up with this thing that I could like compute now. So we're going to do something similar to this. Um, so instead of numbers, what if I just had a bunch of letters here? Like I had AX... Uh, plus b equals c, and I was asked to solve for x. It's all the same steps that I would do to get x all alone. So notice that like it's 3x plus 2, so I subtract 2 from both sides. Here I would just subtract b from both sides. So I'd end up with ax equals c minus b, just like I ended up with 3x equals 5 minus 2 over here. And then since this is a times x, I could divide both sides by a. And I would have something like c uh, x equals c minus b over a. Now what's going on here is um, these equations, this equation and this equation, they're, they're expressing the exact same relationship between ax, b, and c, but they're just writing it in different ways. Like this equation we could say is solved for c because c is all alone. Now this equation is solved for x because x is all alone. Let's do some, some more thinking like this. Um, if I had S equals uh, P plus 1, and I was told, told solve for P. In other words, get P all alone. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. And S minus 1, I can't resolve it, so I'm just going to write it as S minus 1 equals P. And notice that solve for P, P is all alone. Here's another example. Uh, M equals F divided by a, and I want to solve for a. I want to get a all alone. So notice it's in the denominator there. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a to get it out of the denominator. a times m equals f. And now I don't have a all alone yet, so I'm going to divide both sides by m. a equals f divided by m, that is solved for a. My next example could be something like uh, C equals uh, pi times dt. And I decide, hey, I need to solve for t. So what I could do is divide by pi and then divide by d. But what's kind of nice here, since these are both, these are both, these are all multiplied together, I could just divide by like pi d in one big piece. So C divided by pi D would equal T. And that's all for T. How about X minus 4Y equals negative 5? How about 2X uh, minus 4Y is equal to negative 5? And I'm going to solve for X, get X all alone. So let's get rid of this 4Y. First, add 4Y to both sides. So I have 4y minus 5 and 2 times x. And I, uh, this is 2 times x, so I could divide both sides by 2. So it looks like x equals 4 times y minus 5 divided by 2. And that's all for x. All right, so let me erase a little bit, and then I'll do some more examples. So let's do another one. Uh, 2x minus 5y equals negative 7, and this time let's solve for y. So let's get rid of this 2x first, so subtract 2x from both sides. Notice I have a negative 5y, that negative is still there with it. Negative 2x minus 7. This is uh, negative 5 times y, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. y equals negative 2x minus 7 over negative 5. And that's it. That's my answer. That's all for y. 
notice it's called this this chapter is called rewrite formulas it's not called like like um simplify everything a, a whole bunch <laughs> which would be a terrible name for a chapter of a book um but we're just rewriting the formulas from one formula to the next one so how about if i had something like two times a over b equals h and i decide to solve for a or i get told to solve for a so first thing i think i'll do is deal with this division multiply both sides by b And we can leave it as HB. I'm going to write it as BH. Still trying to get A all alone, so divide everything by 2. And there it is. Solve for A. I'm just going to do a few more examples like this. Uh, A equals PR. No, just P, sorry. Plus P times R times T. And I'm going to solve for T. So let's we'll subtract that P from both sides. And now these are all multiplied together, the P, the R, and the T. So I can divide both sides by PR. A minus P over PR. And that's my answer. That's it right there. All right. Um, one more example. P minus 3W over 2. And we're going to solve. It's already solved for X, so we're going to solve for W. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this division. So multiply both sides by 2. Boop. Uh, 2X equals P minus 3W. So let's subtract P from both sides to undo it. Negative 3W. Uh, not 33. 3W. That's pretty subtle. Notice that subtraction sign is with the 3w. It stays with it. Now I'm going to divide everything by negative 3. And there's my answer. Uh, 2x minus p over negative 3 is w. This chapter, we're really just re reorganizing things. And we're rewriting the formulas. If it's solved for one variable, it tells us what other variable we want to solve it for. And we just like undo all the arithmetic in order to get there. Um, I'm going to do one more example, and then I will be done. Pi times RH plus 2 pi times R squared. And we're going to solve this thing for H, get H all alone. So first thing I'll do is I'll subtract this 2 pi R squared from both sides. So I have S minus 2 pi R squared equals 2 pi R h and all of these things the 2 the pi the r and the h are multiplied together so i can multiply uh, divide sorry by 2 pi r both sides and that because those all cancel is what h is equal to all right give that assignment a try uh message me if you have any questions or if, uh, if things are are feeling like you could you use a little more help